Oh, it's cool. It's 1950s. Thanks, babe. Hey guys, it's Coral CDC, and today we're gonna be reviewing the notebook cover by Lost Dutchman Leather. Let's just get right to it. And bam. So, I got this back in December. I've carried it for well over a month. That's what I like to do when I review things. I like to carry it. I like to experience it for a while until I make up all my thoughts. This is a notebook from Log and Jotter. I have the $5 subscription. I filled it all up um, in some of this before I'd made my review just because I really wanted to get some experience out of it and uh, but yeah let's unload it real quick because we're deep in February right now and this is the current model design from Log and Jotter so that's what I'm gonna be using as of now but because I have so much experience with it a whole notebook then I wanted to do my review now so let's start that's pretty cool right let's just start with some measurements this way it's three and three quarters of an inch lengthwise it's six inches for those of you who are into leather uh, a lot of you own the Wren by Benjamin Bott so there it is side by side with the Wren but I'm gonna show you a clip real quick it fits behind in your back pocket it feet it fits very well in your hoodie a like and subscribe it fits really well in your sports jacket if you're wearing a suit jacket as well and it fits well on a breast jacket of your suit pocket as well so uh, size wise there you go and if you're a knife guy and you're here um, size comparison with the PM2 but if you're not a knife guy um, a lot of us carry gentleman folders they just look um, faster <clears throat> we'll start with the positives right away um, the price for the quality is pretty insane well I'm gonna take the price here but I paid around f um, under $50 because there was a Black Friday deal now Nate over at Lost Dutchman they, he has promo codes every now and then so I suggest you follow him on Instagram and he also has a YouTube it's made by hand stitched by hand cut by hand in America and and the leather that Nate uses also comes from America this is Wicked and Craig uh, russet so it's a very natural vegetable tan style leather which I have owned before watch my review of the filling it up here with just full russet it patinas pretty fast it patinas really fast and gets a darker uh, with the oils from your hand and the Sun etc and this is Bordeaux by Wicked and Craig so all of his leather uh, selections are from Wicked and Cred because they're from the United States uh, and he wants to stay pretty American. Uh, the stitching is really nice. He uses really thick leather which allows you um, to wear this notebook pocket, notebook cover uh, very casually um, because it just, it looks fancy but it also looks tough. Very thick stitching. I don't know what kind of stitching he uses. And then the other positive I like is he always has reinforcement stitching like right there and there. The Casey has examples of it too. Watch the Casey review right here. Yeah, you know this is going to last a lifetime. In fact, the stitching itself is warranted for life. And Nate being 21, uh, he's going to outlive me for sure. <laughs> he's a really healthy dude. But anyway, you can fit field note size 3A notebooks in here. Uh, Moleskin and Log and Jotter. Uh, Lion Jotter to me resonates a lot because they're clean designs and they come out pretty often. Um, but the notebook, if you want to know it in inches, is three and a half by five and a half. So it's only a little bit bigger than the notebook you're going to put inside. And I like the style, you know, but back to the notebook, I like the style that lost Dutchman brings to it as well it's it's very clean very refined the l and the d right there very stamped nicely and uh and on your notes when you order it from his website you can be like hey i don't want your logo uh i like it and i want your the, the, the guy's logo there you know represent running hard <laughs> but yeah the logo's nice the, the stitching is really symmetrical he has a video of doing his cuts and the cut he makes right here is not a stamp cut he actually hand cuts that it might not match 100% the the stitching curve but 
it gives it that handmade attitude that I really like. Um, now I also like it when it, the curve and the stitching matches perfectly, like on this one. But you can also tell that this was um, like a stamp cut. Nothing wrong with that. I forget the ma maker from this one. But yeah, this is full shell cordovan, a little bit fancier stuff. The, but yeah, the hand stitching, the hand feel, the handmade attitude from this is really nice to me. Um, the other uh, positive, and it's not just about this notebook cover, but all notebook covers made in leather, it really protects your notebooks. For example, I see a lot of field notes out in the wild that are all destroyed from being in people's pockets. Um, but you can see I carried this for well over a month. Well, not well over a month, like five weeks. Starting January and I'm deep into February now. And I don't want to show you the notes, but uh, yeah, I read, I wrote and carried it every single day. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know it's on my stories a lot. And it's in perfect conditions. The date's on there now. Um, the date's on there now. So I'm going to put the finish date on it as of today. And I'm going to consolidate it up on my shelf. And this is going to be January 2020. This is going to be February 2020 and so on and so forth. This is where I wrote my reviews, uh, church notes, etc., etc. I don't know. It's kind of nice to just catalog or have something to remember uh, your life being there. Like photos help. But like what were you thinking <laughs> that week or what were you thinking that month? Uh, that's kind of cool too. Uh, so it encourages you to also carry it every day. Not only does it protect it, but it's so nice, it's so pretty that it encourages you to EDC it. And that was hard. I used to have notebooks all the time. I, I would just forget them and I would just not consolidate them. Like it, it will have like a date from 20, you know, 15. Then I'd lose it, then I'd carry it again, and, and then my date would start over again in 2018. So that I didn't like that. So this solved that for me in 2020, and it was one of my resolutions to write more notes, and I succeeded. Uh, the pen I carry is the Zebra 701. It's cheap, it's full metal construction, it's quality, and it writes well. Uh, and the negatives, I think it should have a name. <laughs> But yeah, no real negatives. Oh, I forgot to mention the utility pocket right here. I have another Carlos EDC uh, sticker and a coupon. Uh, just that stuff you don't want to keep in your wallet. You can just put it in this big old utility pocket. And the negatives, I really don't see any, especially per for the price. The full leather collection video is coming out soon, and then you'll see how big of a uh, leather... <laughs> uh, nut I have become but yeah y'all have a great day I hope this was interesting to you uh, don't forget to like and subscribe this was the review of the Lost Dutchman leather cover y'all have a great day really? this was the one in January I wanted to fill it up before I got the February one. Didn't work out though. Oh, it's cool. It's 1950s. Thanks, babe.